Yeah, I just want to have a bit of a look and then I'm going to go around. So thank you, Tristan, for sticking around with this beautiful young girl around here. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I know a lot of people have been asking about her and it seems, according to Tristan over there, who can have a bit of a better view at the face, that this is actually the royal princess, Shongile. Yeah, we've been wondering where you've been. Ugh, you see, now she's being a, a royal princess. Pardon? Another leopard, behind us. Another leopard behind you. Which leopard? I don't know. Just down the road. Okay, apparently she is hiding from another leopard that was walking down on the road. And oh my goodness, I don't really know what's been happening this afternoon. We've had all the cats all over the place. But this is wonderful because I've had <laughs> a couple of days where I've just seen tracks going up and down and up and down on the road. So great to see so many leopards on one afternoon drive and keeping up with all of the ones that we've just been wondering how they've been doing. So for all of you that are new to the show, we believe that this is Shongile and this is one of the young female leopards that we have in this area. And they, she is the last daughter of a very beloved female leopard that we haven't seen for the last few months. Now, we haven't been able to catch up with her for the last few weeks or so. We didn't know, oh, hello, beautiful girl. And we were starting to wonder what she's been up to and where she's been, but clearly she is still fine and well and doing just great because she seems to be quite healthy and, and in a very regal position. I wonder if you know, today there was a Tremont Mount party that we were clearly not invited. This is Hosanna. Ah. Can you see him from there? All right, guys, it seems like the plot thickens. And today, what an unexpected drive. It seems like, so Tristan's gonna try and go onto the road because it seems like the other leopard that's not too far from us, it's Hosanna. So how amazing is that? We've got the two, uh, the brother and sister, not too far from each other. And we wonder if they've actually bumped into one another during the day and maybe they've just decided they don't wanna be together. But good news, seems like they're both doing fine. And how amazing is this? My goodness, what an action-packed afternoon we've had today. This is wonderful. Beautiful. I, I don't think I could be happier because I know some of you were asking how she's been doing. Now we've got her there and we think that Hosanna's not too far on the road. So yay, they both of them are still around and still coming back, which is always great. Now, I'm going to try to get us out of this mess <laughs> and see if perhaps there is another way of getting to her that we're gonna have a much prettier view for much prettier screenshots however i think just bear with me for two seconds while i try to get us out of here i think there is a tree there that's right because tristan was on the other side and we couldn't quite get there before when we first arrived and there's a very big stump so i can't really go around the way i wanted that stump kind of ruined my idea of how we were going to go and approach her. But I uh, know if I go there, then I'm going to scare her off. I'm just going to go do a bit of a longer loop around. And we'll be able to see her nicely. So we're going to go around and I'm sure she's going to be there. And how exciting would it be if Hosanna came around? This is wonderful. I don't think I've had so many leopards on so many on so many trees, on so many trees, on so many termite mounds. <laughs> it is a bit tough, but I see a clearing and that's where I'm going. Just to be able to get to her, the royal princess. Woo. Hopefully no flat tires. That'll be a record. <laughs> All right. Whew. Almost there, guys. All branches? N no, I do not because I've been pulled out. All right, seems like I lost my communications with FC, but now I'm back on. All right, I'm going to carry on fighting with those bushes. And while we do that, let's go to Jamie, who's still with the lions. 
Shongila is doing very well. The little precious Shongololo, as we all call her, she seems to be just fine and very sleepy. She at least had her head up for a few moments earlier on, but now it seems like she's gone back to sleep. And funny enough, we heard an elephant breaking something in the distance and she didn't even wink. She, I know she knows that this is a very safe spot for her and nothing to worry about. So off she's gone into sleep and it seems like for the time being, Hosanna is also not too far from here. Also, <laughs> fall um, properly asleep fallen asleep already by treehouse dam so it is quite interesting they're not too far from each other and i wonder if they were actually close to one another or if they bumped into each other and if they would remember that they used to be playmates or if they've gotten into that stage where it's just like okay well i know who you are bye I would assume they're they're reaching more that point where each one of them is going to do their own separate thing Megan, you're wondering what is the most leopards that I've seen in a day? Um, I think it was five or six and it was a few years ago. So I found uh, a female and two tiny cubs in the morning. And no, actually it was about six. And then before that we had a brief visual of a young male that was a bit skittish and ran off into the distance. And then that afternoon again, I had a female and another cub. So I think that was that was my best day in terms of how many leopards I had seen, but I think today definitely wins hands down in terms of all the cats that we've been seeing. I mean, Pride of Lions and two completely different leopards, both of them on top of termite mounds. I think this, this will be a drive to remember in my books for sure. Oh, you're looking so pretty and so well fed. I think you've just been doing just fine. Now, it is unfortunate that there are some grass blades in front of her but that is the typical thing that everyone has to struggle with especially if we're trying to either get a photo or a screenshot of them but I think just looking at her and knowing that she's safe and that she's doing very well I think that's wonderful for, for all of us and I'm sure the guys and the Mara and Jamie and Brent and Scotty and James they are going to be very excited to know that little Shangili is still around and that she's doing just fine it's funny, I think maybe we called her yesterday because we were all saying that we hadn't seen her in a while and we would love to see her. And there she is. Lisa, you're wondering if Shongile could be in heat. Um I don't I don't I think she's a bit young for that still. I do however think that because she's had to, or she's sort of been forced into adulthood and being independent, likely she'll go into heat at a younger age than maybe some of the other animals around. We haven't seen any signs of her though being in heat or attracting any males into the area. I think she's still in and that stage where she will prefer to stay away from trouble and stay away from bigger males and especially other dominant females in this area. So I suppose only time would tell. I think she, judging by her age, she is reaching the point where she could very well start coming into heat. But it would be odd to, to have a, a leopard this young go into heat so soon. But again, nature does funny things and I think we'll have a better answer as we carry on spending some time with her because they've had a very unusual life so far. And they seem to be the exception to the rule in many regards and just that the fact that they are here and still looking wonderful. I think these two cats, her and Hosanna, are probably cats that don't do everything by the book. And I'm sure they will have a few surprises in for us as the months carry on. Pokemon guy, you're wondering how long would Hosan and Shungila's bond last for? I'm not too sure if it started to wane already, like we were saying earlier. She's here and Hosanna, he's not far, but he's also not too close by. And they're not as sociable as some of the other creatures and definitely not as sociable as lions. So I think that bond has started to, to wane already. And I think the more the time goes by, then the more, unfortunately, that bond is going to... To, to bring them a bit more separate or take them a bit further apart. It's also likely as Hosanna starts becoming older, then he will also want to find a territory in an area of, for himself where he can claim 
all the females and the resources and the water and the food and the prey species. So because of there are already quite big dominant males around here, I wonder if he's not going to have to move off onto a different area. So hopefully he'll stick around somewhere where we can see him. But like I've said, there are certain animals that are forced, especially the males that are forced to move great distances before they can settle. And Vula, for example, that territorial or well, that older leopard that we were talking about at the beginning of the drive, he was born in the southern Sabi San and he dispersed all the way to the northern Sabi San where we are now. So it's just a little proof that sometimes they will move off into a different area, but I'm hoping he'll stick around in an area where we can keep up to date of what he's up to and what he does. Shongile, more likely than not, she will stay around this general vicinity or this general area. Beautiful. Why aren't you just pretty? She is very pretty and enjoying some very <laughs> peaceful sleep. Well, this has been fantastic. Now, um, I... I'm going to try to find out if Hosanna is still around. Perhaps he'll be around and we'll be able to get a glimpse of, of him because I know a lot of people would like to do that. So while I do that, and hopefully I'll have good luck, so let's go over to Jamie. It seems like the lions are stalking again.